Am I recording? Yep, I'm recording. Okay, so I got his pellets. Stuff. Sunflower seeds and peanuts. Perfect. Alright. Going up. So try to get destroy all these hulls if I get all the way up. This will allow me to see if there are snake hulls. I'll be aware if the hole open back up. Okay, it's been a, maybe two months since I get up here. I got up here. Uh, there is definitely a big coyote poop right there. And yeah. It's a very large coyote poop. And there's more coyote poops right there. Look around, make sure there's no coyotes around me. Don't want to get attacked on the back. I'll get rid of this coyote poop. Try to make as much noise as I can. There's some peanut right there. There's the cart. It's more coyote poop. I guess it's more of a territory thing. I'm not sure. Okay, gonna set the feet right down. There's a hole they tried to dig out. Fill this back in. Okay. Let's do first thing first. Make sure there are no rats or snakes. Right, and go in. All right. Oh wow! Look at this. I wasn't expecting this. Looks like it's all blown out. <coughs> it's all blown out. Very interesting. Pull this back up. Two more holes. There. No, we don't see much holes here. Okay. It's perfect. It's a brand new target. Okay. Let's put this back. back the next let's take care of one thing at a time Just scoping out the whole place a little bit there's a truck <sighs> okay it's another truck this is my target
Okay. There's a coyote poop there. I believe I'm going to set this truck back to where this is. Alright. Maybe right there. Alright. The next truck. This is a good spot right there. Okay. So it looks like a little door, I think. Object. All right. So I'm gonna fill this up. Pretty good. I feel this truck. <sighs> All right. Let's throw this up there. I'm going to go up there. All right. Let's see. Make sure there's no snake. Got to do a bunch of stuff up here. It's part of the thing I knock up from the uh, scuba tank, the scuba helmet. Okay, go up there. Here is uh, clearly a coyote poop. Get rid of that. Here's the target. Shooting. Just assess the situation here. Another scuba thing. The platform I made it hold up a little bit better. This is a uh, part of the bell. Uh, it's a cast iron bell, basically shattered, and I can tell it's all broken half. By the 22 telegun. I have the one to replace this. I guess I can just hunt it somewhere else. Use a, this additional practice targets thing. I got my drill here today. All right. See if I can do this. Um, got a brand new one. Okay. Okay, hung up there, but this time I'm going to try a little something different. See if I can drill. into the tree and just hung it it's pretty good let me screw in a little better maybe try a different hole slightly higher try this one I'll try this one. <sighs> I 
I was aside. I thought I was going to need a drill. I guess not. Really need a drill. All right. So a drill, no need it. You need a drill. It's unnecessary. Put this back. It's a much easier task than I thought. As for this. I need to create a better platform. This is a pellet. All right, there. Now, fill this thing up with food. So just a platform for the critters to gather. Maybe a little place they can hide. This way they'll stay around this area. Okay, once they dig around. Okay. I think that's a success. This will help me to uh, get a clicking sound every time I hit the helmet or whatever's in there. Okay. I like the new setup. We got the bell right there. We got the old bell right there. It's hunt. It's free hunt. Instead against the tree, it's free hunt. We got the pellets. Somewhere I can hit. And we have the peanut and sunflower seeds P two platforms pretty good I wish I bring brought more food we fill all this up I'm really happy what we did today here look at the platform right here there's a squirrel hole so the squirrel is actually living right beneath the lead beneath me right here and um, we fill with sunflower seeds and peanut they also live in here surprisingly they do what the fuck is that? That's a peanut. It just shows the squirrel actually live right in here. That's a peanut. They live in this tree. Okay. There's a bunch of snails. Coyote poops. Going back downhill. Make sure there's, make sure there's no uh, snake. There's a snake hole. Snake hole. Cover up the snake holes. We have a lot of snakes here. That's why I'm wearing cowboy boots. Snake hole. Snake hole. Something happened there. Like something was digging. Yeah, look like something was digging all the way along here. Could be a ground groundhog. And uh it's covered up. And there too. I think we have a groundhog problem and there's one, two, three, four. Maybe all from the same groundhog. We'll shoot it when we see it. Okay. There's a huge hole in there. This is a previous stick we use. Something dig and push push it out. 
Could be a rabbit or whatever. Let's get rid of this. Get a smoker. Smoke thing in. There's a rabbit or a snake. Okay. Now it's gonna be in there. Smoke it away. Okay, this is a quick update. Let's see how I can do this. I grow some grass over this mount. And I went ahead and put I went ahead and put three solar garden lights to light this up for the rabbits at night on that mount it filled with sticks and tree tree sticks basically from the tree we cut down it's about a foot mount and up there I put up about 20 solar lights like let's go let's see each one of them there's one right there there's one right there there's one right there it should give me a really good coverage of what's going on at night. So on top of this mount at night is pitch black. So even a dim light like a garden light, it will give quite a bit of light. Check this out. The old garden lights is lighting up really good. And about 20 something on top or lighting it up. Very nice. Gorgeous.